Now in this video I want to make sure that we really understand this concept because a lot of students who are new to this have trouble with it. Broadcasting collision domains. First of all, what's a broadcast domain? Well, a broadcast domain consists of all of the devices that will hear a broadcast by a host. So let's take a look down here. And by the way, these are separated by routers. So we have a router right here. And you'll notice that every port on a router creates a broadcast domain. So over here, for example, if this PC speaks, then these PCs, or if it sends a broadcast, I should say, these PCs over here will hear it, these hubs will hear it, the switch will hear it, and this port on the router will hear it. So everything in that domain is, uh, is a, this is all broadcast domain. This one doesn't have much in it. The switch will hear it. Uh, this uh, port on the router will hear it, not much else in this case, but these are two different broadcast domains. So let's take a look now and see if we can identify the broadcast domains that we have here. I'm going to look down at my tablet here, so don't mind me looking down in the video here. But uh, I have a router here, so uh, a port on a router here, so I could draw a broadcast domain there. There's one. Looks like I have a broadcast domain off of the router here. So this is one, there's two. And then I've got one off a router here and one off of a router here. So this is all three right here. Router to router, I can't just count one, two, three, four, five like that because uh, these two are all one broadcast domain. And then finally I have a set coming off of this port on the router here. So that is four. So we have four broadcast domains here. All right, let's go on. Collision domains. Collision domains are all of the devices in danger of a collision if two or more transmit at the same time. They're separated by routers, switches, and bridges. So anytime a router, a switch, or a bridge is that now router repeaters and hubs do not uh, create separate collision domains. So let's take a look here. Here is a router and I've got uh, a hub here. Well hubs do not separate collision domains so everything here off of this port from the router is one collision domain. Hubs and repeaters do not separate them but routers, switches, and bridges do. So here's a router. So uh, here's a port on a router. So this is in its own collision domain. Here between the router and the switch, I've got a line that's on a collision domain. Uh, off of the switch here then, uh, and all the ports off of the switch. So here's one here. Here's one over here. Here's between a switch and a bridge. These two do separate uh, collision domains. So I've got that separated there. And then over here, finally, here's a hub. They do not separate collision domains. And so everything off of this bridge is now one collision domain. All right, that one's a little trickier, but let's see if we can use that same network here and now identify all of the collision domains. And I'm going to look down at my tablet again, so don't mind me looking down as I talk. But we have a router. Now, hubs do not separate collision domains. So we have one collision domain here. Well, down here we have a switch. Switches and routers both do. Uh, separate collision domains. So I've got one right here. That's number two. Switches separate collision domains. So that means that this is its own collision domain. There's one. And then this is its own collision domain. Number four. Hubs do not separate them, but routers do. So right here is one collision domain. So that's number five. Again, routers separate them, but hubs do not. So all of these are on one collision domain so six so I've got six collision domains here in this diagram well that's it for broadcast and collision domains